So let us begin creating this Delphi collapsible outliner. I've loaded Delphi here and I'm going to start a new project. So that's file, new uh, VCL application. It just creates my form in the center of the screen here. I'm ready to drag on some components. Well, obviously I need the tree view. The tree view is the component that's going to provide the outline functionality. So I open up in the palette this Win32 section and I scroll down till I find T tree view and I just click it and drag it on and drag it to some sensible sort of size to fill the form or at least I'm going to allow a bit of uh, bit of space down here because I'll put, be putting on some buttons later on but it's filled the form and I'm ready to start uh, adding items so I can right click this in the items editor and if I want to add a new item I can type them in here and a new sub item Um, so there you are, and now I'm ready to run it. Click this up here, compiles. There it is, and you can see there's my collapsible outliner. Well, that's not a great deal of use in a real-world application because obviously I'd want to add my own items, um, you know, not build it, not compile them in. So I need to do a bit more work. Let me add on a couple of buttons. So here I'm going back up to the standard palette, and I need to find... A couple of buttons uh, there and there. I'm just going to set a couple of properties. I don't take too long doing this. Um, quick edit, and I can put in uh, add, add, btn, add. Okay, so I've just given a couple of names and. Um, some captions to these buttons. Now to add nodes uh, programmatically, let me double click the add button. And I'll need to declare a variable var node. That's a type of T tree node. And when I want to add something, I just Go down into the code here. Node equals uh, tree view. It's the name of the component, tree view one. And then I put in uh, the selected item, tree view one dot selected and the text to be added. Back to the design and do the same for our child. The only difference here is that I've called add child from items instead of add as before. I'm ready to go so I now run this again and you can see when I add things I can either add, um, let's expand this, add to the bottom of the list here, or add child to the selected item. The selected item happens to be this node up here. Now that's one disadvantage of this. I can't at the moment see which is the selected item. There is no highlight by default. Also, when I add in a node, I really don't want new item, this default string to appear every time. I want to be able to edit that. It would be much better if I put the node, uh, the new node, into edit mode, so I can, so I can edit it um, immediately. Now I can show you how to do that quite quickly to save time. I'm going to load up a project that I've already written, which has this extra code to to select and and put the node into edit mode. Okay, so here's essentially the same application that I just showed, but if I go to the code, you can see I've added in both the Add button click and the uh, Add child button click event handles. I've just added these two lines of code, uh, node.selected equals true and node.editText. And what that does, it just shows the selection uh, on the selected node so I can see where I am in the outliner and it puts it into edit edit mode so that um, so that I can change the text. Let me see that running. Compile it, add. And you can see that it's selected and I can edit it. So I can uh, type in 
some different text. And I can keep on adding, 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 add child, or if I select a different node up here, add child to that. So that's a you know a, a simple start on this this collapsible outline. And now, although this code is very simple, now pretty soon it's going to get quite complicated. Uh, while I explain all the essential techniques in these videos on YouTube, I'm not going to be going through every single line of code because eventually when we get into moving nodes and uh, and doing mouse operations, it's going to get too complicated to go through every bit of code. But I am making all the code available for free um, and you can just download it by going to the Bitwise Books website and sign up to the newsletter and you'll get all the source code. Okay, so this is a pretty good start, um, but later on we want to delete nodes, move them, do all kinds of other things, and before we can do that, I have to explain what a tree node actually is. And that's going to be the subject of the next lesson.